हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम 330 इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन दिस डिवाइस एंड इफ दिस डिवाइस इज डिजाइन टू अप्लाई प्रेशर व्हेन बॉन्डिंग लैमिनेट टू ईच साइड ऑफ द काउंटर टॉप नियर एन एज इट इज फर्दर सेड दैट इफ अ 120 न्यूटन फोर्स इज अप्लाइड टू द हैंडल डिटरमाइन द फोर्स व्हिच ईच रोलर एक्सर्ट्स ऑन द करिस्पोंडिंग सरफेस राइट so we have to find the forces exerted by b and c rollers when 120 newton force is applied at this point a so both of these rollers will apply the forces on the surface on both of these surfaces right and as a reaction these surfaces will apply the opposite forces on these rollers right so if we represent those forces so this will be the reaction at point c we can write like this it will be acting vertically upward let's say this is c reaction and at point b we will have a reaction which will be acting in the opposite direction like this let's say this is the reaction b right so now is the system is in equilibrium so if we apply the summation of moment at point c equals to 0 and let's say that the counter clockwise moment is positive So now as we can see that this 120 newton force is producing clockwise moment about this point C but first to find the moment of this 120 newton first we have to find the perpendicular distance of this 120 newton force from that point C so if if i draw a triangle if i complete if i join this point A with that C point and let's say that this is point X right so we have this axc triangle and we know the hypotenuse of this triangle is 165 mm and this angle is given which is 45 degrees right so if this angle is 45 degrees so then this cx will be the perpendicular distance of this 120 newton from that point c and this 120 newton force is producing clockwise moment so we will write minus this is 120 and the perpendicular distance is this cx so i can write that the perpendicular distance is cx and this is the cos component of this 165 mm so we will write 165 cos of 45 degrees right and then this b reaction will produce the counter clockwise moment about this point c and again we have to find the perpendicular distance of this b reaction from that point c so again if we complete another triangle here if we join this b and c and let's say that this is y right so we have this b y c triangle so now here as we can see that this distance this c y distance consist of this 45 mm distance plus the radius of this pulley plus the radius of this pulley right so this means that c y is equal to 45 mm plus this radius which is 30 mm the radius of both of these pulley is 30 mm right so we can write 30 plus 30 right so this gives us 105 mm right and as we can see that this angle will also be 45 degrees right if this is 45 so then this angle is also 45 right and if this angle is 45 so then this cy and this by distance both are equal right since if this is 45 so then this angle is also 45 so we can say that by distance is also equal to 105 mm right now this b reaction is produced same counter clockwise moment so we will write plus and this is b b is unknown into the perpendicular distance so the perpendicular distance is this by so we will write by which is 105 mm and this will be equal to 0 from this equation we get b equals to 133.34 newton right so this is the surface force on this roller and as a reaction this roller will apply this same force on the surface right so this is that the force applied by roller b now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 again the system is in equilibrium right and this is our positive direction right so as we can see that this 120 newton force is acting in the negative y direction so we will write min minus 120 and this b is also acting in the 
uh, negative direction so you'll write minus b and b is 133.34 and this c reaction is acting in the up uh, in the positive direction so we will write plus c and this will be equal to zero or we can say that c is equal to 120 plus 133.34 so the force applied by roller c on the surface is equal to 253.3 newton right so this is the solution of this particular problem